I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Thank you for all the birthday wishes you sent on April 27th. I am 65. I got born again in 1985. That means I was, uh, I've been born again for nearly 40 years nearly 40 years one of the problems you start having as you age in the church and you mature in the Lord and you gain spiritual experience and exposure and you develop yourself intellectually is that at a point you overgrow your pastor you overgrow the system. It becomes boring for you to go to church. When you go to church, you hardly learn anything new. Sometimes, Chris Angeri's principle comes to play. Chris Angeri's principle states that one of the principles that for a normal, psychologically mature adult, a time comes when his personal interest comes in conflict with organizational goals. You will find out that in the church committee meeting, your ideas of what you think kingdom work should be might be in conflict with that of the pastor, your local pastor, and that of your local pastor might be in conflict with the bigger denomination. And then sometimes when you come up with ideas and solutions that tally with God's principles and the good of the organization or denomination and the good of society and kingdom work, you come in conflict and you are termed rebellious. And sometimes messages could be preached indirectly to criticize you and to separate you from people. And if you become too cantankerous or difficult, you are removed from committees and then you start getting angry. That should not be the solution. Sometimes you see the behavior of your general overseer, you see the behavior of pastors and you don't want to belong, you don't want to go to church. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24 verse 12, it says, in the last days, the love of men shall wax cold. And I was wondering why, if you mix it with, in the last days, iniquities shall abound. That means people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, so many things will go wrong in the system and in society and it will engulf the church and you will become angry and disillusioned. But the Bible says, do not be like those who avoid the fellowship of the saints. So what do you do? Number one, see your denomination as your village or your town, sometimes even your country. You cannot refuse to be your countryman if you are really patriotic. What you do, uh, the robots have a proverb that if you will not pack from a town or leave a town, repair it. I belong to a denomination. I attend a very small church, very, very small church. I hardly preach there unless they give me the permission. I don't sit on the with the elders or whoever, I just sit there. I play the role I'm supposed to play. When I go to church, I know somebody is going to benefit from my contribution in the Sunday school. And so I try to go to Sunday school early. Number two, I belong to my denomination and I play specific roles in, among the youths, the different units, 
among the pastors, among the men's fellowship. That is my role. If it is given to me to do, I do it well. But at the same time, I, I since long time ago, I started looking for things outside my denomination, outside my congregation, that will give me fulfillment. So I was taking care of prisoners, I was taking care of lepers, I was taking care of uh, motherless babies, I was taking care of children in the remand home. Those things gave me joy. The next thing was that we were going to schools to do early morning fellowship with the students, preach to them. It gave me joy. I became a member of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. I was, we were doing outreaches. It gave me joy. When I came to Gili, I started doing missionary work with my own money. So I would select African countries, make contact in the internet. I would go stay two weeks, one month. The longest I stayed is three months in South Africa. It has taken me so far, Madagascar, Australia, Sierra Leone, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, South Sudan, Liberia, several places. And when by the time I go and come back, I get fulfillment. I notice that God blesses me. Then recently, the internet, I started using the internet to do counseling through my WhatsApp mentorship group. I do this uh, broadcast on uh, YouTube and I'm getting real joy. I, I told my wife that I have become more productive at 65 than I was when I was traveling around churches and doing all these things because I'm reaching more people. More people are reaching me. Then I also decided to put my messages into books. The first one I did was the morning devotion I had with my wife and children. And recently I republished the book after 1998. That is, um, how many years now? Is it 36 or 26 years? I republished it and it is here. It's going to give me money. It's going to bless people. So as much as possible, use the internet in this dispensation you can do videos and teach people on the internet concerning your experience, your story, and your knowledge. You don't need to go and struggle over the pulpit with your pastor or over a few committee members and a few congregational members. No. That you are a deacon does not mean you should decay. That you are a deaconess does not mean you should decay and transmit parish sickness. Grow, go ye. My archbishop said the message is go ye. And today, go ye does not require too much money. Just the phone and data, you can reach the world. You can be a blessing to the world. Instead of being frustrated in church in old age, use your old age to reach as many people as possible. Between yesterday, I did about um, 14 videos here with my former PA, and I've been loading them, and I'm getting joy. People are reaching me from all over the world. I've become more productive in old age instead of being frustrated in church. I know most of you are passing through this. Now, pastors might misbehave. Clergymen might misbehave. General overseers might misbehave. We can't run and leave our father's work because of higher links, we are sons of God. Let's manage our Father's estate. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Light your little candle wherever you are. As we light our candles and we light each other's candles that are extinguishing those who are discouraged, there will be light in Africa. And our light will so shine that the world may see and give glory to the Lord. God bless you. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Please subscribe to this channel. Send me a message on plus 234-7052-136763. I have properties for sale.
and then um, subscribe to the channel I said share it with people there are many people of my age bracket and even below that are discouraged they no longer want to serve God do not allow them waste in despair God bless you